You know, every recognition, every celebration, every awareness um, is important and has a, you know, a direct focus on, you know, regrouping us as a society, as a military, as a family, uh, as commands to, you know, what that particular subject is. And it's unfortunate on some that, you know, that we have to have an awareness month. And the one we're going to talk about today is domestic violence. It is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, so for those out there that, you know, see the purple ribbons or wearing the purple ribbons and, uh, you know, are, are wondering where did all this start, why do we have a Awareness Month dedicated just to domestic violence, you know, it, it has a long history and unfortunately so does domestic violence. Yeah. Domestic violence is not just uh, a female's uh, victim issue. Domestic violence affects males, females, um, different you know backgrounds, children. Uh, domestic violence doesn't discriminate. When you see a coworker's change in their lifestyle when they are withdrawn, or you know you have a spidey sense, you know the hair on your back of your neck goes up that you know there is a, an inkling of some you know personal trauma going on in their life. You know you start asking the questions just like you would when we talk about suicide prevention and, and other things like that. But first and foremost, domestic violence doesn't just spring up overnight. No. There are stressors that build up that can cause it. Um, as children in a home with domestic violence, it can beget domestic violence and cause teen dating violence. Um, and that's kind of scary. Yeah. All domestic violence is scary, but when you think of a, a teenager, they have even less life experience than an adult might have. Absolutely. Less life experience how to manage stress and less life experience on how to deal with and manage being a victim of teen violence. Yeah. Uh, whether it's dating violence or bullying uh, violence in a domestic violence environment. Um, but let's talk about that teen dating. You know, uh, domestic violence isn't restricted to just a marriage. Uh, and by the way, domestic violence knows no discrimination, right? It's not discriminatory against gender, age, community, um, but it's, you know, defined as in a relationship, whether you're spouse, dating, or children. So teen domestic violence, uh, as you said earlier, is quite scary that it starts early on, but it's in that relationship where that oppressive, you know, dominant, um, stress individual in that relationship can outbreak in a domestic violence, you know, result. And so what are those triggers, you know, in domestic violence? You know, you have uh, stressors as a teen. Um, you have a, a domestic, you know, partner in that dating relationship who can't manage with the stress, again, male or female. It could be, I mean, I mean, teens have lots of stressors too, uh, trouble with school, maybe some of the university or college they're trying to get into, not working out, uh, sports, uh, trouble with their parents, and the list is long. Exactly, and so when teens as children are uh, in a home of domestic violence, and they, and they capture or have a perception that that's what a healthy relationship is. Yeah. If you make me angry, I just hit you. Or I make you angry and I use these verbal words to, you know, stop you from making me angry. I've seen it work in my home. It must work in this relationship. So, you know, as, as parents, as adults, we, we must be very conscious of our surroundings and, and that children pick up on those kinds of things. Yeah, communication is key. You know, when you enter a relationship, it's about whether it's marriage or dating or, you know, a living environment where you have a relationship, a personal relationship with somebody. Communication is key. You know, when you enter that relationship, it's not about what can that person do for me or how can I overlord or oversee them or how can I use them, you know, to make my life better. It's about respect. It's about trust. It's about, you know, m making a partner life. But if it's taking a wrong turn and you're going down that path uh, in a domestic violence environment, uh, you have to know that there is help out there. You are not alone. You do not need to suffer uh, as a victim of domestic violence, as an adult or a child. 
So Fleet Family Support Center, your family advocacy program, your family advocacy rep at work, or Fleet Family Support Center uh, for our spouses, for our dependents, um, critical. Chaplain, uh, absolutely critical. Turn to your chaplain. You know, you don't have to have a religious connection to use the chaplain. Um, they're an excellent resource for listening and helping guide you to get help. Your medical provider, Military One Source. When you log on to Military One Source, it literally is one stop shopping. And they have some phenomenal additional links, uh, whether it's um, teen relationships, adult relationships, family relationships with children. They have great links such as. Um, uh, stay strong, um, you know, loveinspiration.org and those kinds of things that can help you build or strengthen a healthy relationship. And they can also help you find help, uh, you know, online if it's something that you are not locally near something where you can walk in to, you know, help. You're not alone in domestic violence. Don't cower. Don't be isolated. Don't be by yourself. Don't wait for things to happen to you. Make them happen for you.